You are now tuned in to Go Time Dolphins with Charlie Touche and Kadeem Simmons, the Miami Dolphins podcast that's for the fans and by the fans. Gotta make them lose their mind when it's your time. And it's your time. Going all out when it's go time. I ain't wasting no time. Gotta make them lose their mind when it's your time. Cause it's your time. Lay it on the line when it's go time. I've done more than enough episodes by myself and Go Time Dolphins. Charlie's done a few as well. Just don't like them. Do you not like them? I need someone to to bounce off. I need someone to put me in place. I need someone to just talk to. Shout out to the guys in the comments for keeping me company. Um, IMAX, uh, Hannah Montana, uh, Robert Ashton, you know, everyone who... And if I, forgot, if I forgot your name, I apologize. Everyone who, who joined me, appreciate it. And especially, before we even delve into that, he's back. Charlie Touche is back. The host of the podcast is back. I did not mess up the intro. Charlie, can you do it better? How are you? Not going to lie, Kadeem, you hit the intro. There's some other stuff that I, I actually noted. I'm like, what's going on on this on this episode? You feel me? So we'll get into that. But before we even do the intro, I, I just want to tell everybody out there how much we appreciate them. We appreciate their support of this podcast and this platform and to be Dolphin fans and some non-Dolphin fans that still rock with us on this channel. So I personally appreciate y'all. I know Kadeem appreciates everyone as well. I just want to say, you know, I, I haven't had time to... Uh, my time is limited nowadays and there's a lot going on and I'm, we, we pride ourselves on, on not taking an off season and just being able to record through the off season. And this off season has been a little bit different, but again, I promise you, we will be recording more often. Uh, you know, try to get back to that three times a week. Shout out to our patrons on Patreon. Uh, we got some more stuff coming for y'all. And again, it is my fault. Don't blame Kadeem. Um, I will say this, if you're an audio listener, you can't see what's in my background right now. That's all I'm saying. Like, listen, y'all boys know, y'all boys know, that's all I'm gonna say. Y'all see the background? Something's getting done right now. That's all I'm saying. Um, It's Go Time Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins podcast that goes not only across the pond, but across the world. I'm your boy, Charlie Touche. I got my co-host, Kadeem Simmons with me. It's always for the fans. And by the fans, your favorite podcast, favorite podcast, uh, Kadeem, what's happening? So much, so much, so much. Um, if you're watching this, listen to this, um, and you haven't already subscribed to the channel, we have an episode coming out later this week. We have a new friend of the podcast. We have a new friend of the podcast, and he's while he's new, he's also a first. Because he's not a current or former Miami Dolphins player, I'll say I'll save that for now. Tune in to later on the episode to find out exactly who it is. But shout out to dude, amazing person. Hopefully, we see him in Miami in the near future. That's the first thing, and I'll let you get to that. But second of all, since we last spoke to two of us, so much has happened. We are losing a friend of the podcast in Emmanuel Ogba. Shout out to him. He came, he did his thing. Unfortunately, it didn't end with a ring. And I know the news is a week old, but there is no way we can do the podcast without talking about the release of Xavier Howard. So, Charlie, the floor is yours. The soon-to-be release of Xavier Howard. He didn't get released yet, right? No, I think I think they've said he'll be released on the start of the new year. But right, like right. post- First, so post June first designation, bro. It's just, it's just. This is this is what the NFL is. This they, hey, Dolphins release Xavier Howard, or they're releasing him, and they try to they try to put it out there as bait to see if someone else is interested in in receiving them, like uh, acquiring Xavier Howard. So let's put this out there. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna release Emmanuel Agba, friend of the podcast. We're gonna release Xavier Howard. Do you do you want? Uh, are you guys interested in acquiring him? Go ahead. Kadeem. I d- I disagree there because of their cap situations. So I think even if you traded them, like if you trade X now, like the dead cap is on like 24 mil. I genuinely yeah. think like this isn't a, hey, we're going to we're gonna release him. Who wants him? It's the, 
we have to release him because there's nothing else we can do. So why, why is it news then? Why did it come out and not why why didn't it get why why if it if it's not that why not just X him just guillotine instead of leaking that he's going to be released? I think it's to give him. I, I, I think I said it by myself. If not, I, I apologize. I think it's to essentially say we're going to give you time to find who you want in free agency as opposed to cutting him like after the draft you know a draft you got every, everyone and then he's struggling to find a team because two players stop, have stop it bro again, again bro Xavier Howard's not going to struggle to find a team bro the man is Xavier he, Howard but he has suitors he's not going to struggle to find a team now and I, I agree that even after the draft someone will look at him but by then you've signed all your free agents so if if you need a corner and you don't pick one up, like, if you need a corner, you're going to pick one up in free agency, if not the draft. No team is going to finish the draft and be like, yo, we still need a corner. Like, because if, if, if you do that, in my opinion, you're a bad team. So I think it's a case of giving him the entire field as opposed to giving him the the trashy team who didn't get the homework done beforehand. Kadeem, I've been waiting for this for four years. <laughs> Four seasons. Like, so for everyone who wanted Xavier Howard, we did not end up with a championship with him. Like, so that means all of that money could have went somewhere else and we could have tried to acquire a championship with all of his money. You know what I'm saying? But it did not work. And I'm not tripping like, oh, well, whatever. What I get it. I understand why we kept him. And I understood, you know, okay, he's, he's dope sometimes if he's playing. And if he's playing in the right system, like – according to the the game itself you know what i'm saying like what the coaches want but yo it's a lot of going on in my background i don't know if you, you guys can hear that on the mic can you can you do no it has them like tapping and banging but i don't know if that's you just moving yeah. around on the table and stuff so. uh, no no it's, it's a lot going on but yeah man so uh that's not what i want to talk about kadeem like that was writings on the wall that's those writings been on the wall for a long time and it just didn't come into fruition I'm back on this podcast today, Kadeem, to talk about how miserable the Miami Dolphin fans are for trying to get rid of Jalen Waddle, bro. Like, this is the problem with Miami, bro. Like, so you have, and I'm going to say this right now, Kadeem. I was so upset that I could not record when this Jalen Waddle stuff came out because this is what's going to happen. One day, the Miami Dolphin fans are going to, run off one of our players, a great player. Could be Jalen Waddle. He'd be like, you know what? Cool, I'm out. Y'all don't even have to worry about me. I'm leaving. And that's how bad this this, this fan base is. It was horrid with, with Tua, the, the way they treat Tua. It's crazy that they don't want Mike McDaniel to call plays anymore. Sudden, like, like, he's in the conversation for coach of the year. He he brought the Miami Dolphins back to relevancy when it comes to offense, top 10 offenses. He's, he was top 10 twice in two seasons, I believe. Once six, uh, his first season as the Dolphins play caller was sixth overall offense and then second overall offense. What else you want, bro? You want a championship. I get that. But there's steps to take to get to a championship. And changing Mike McDaniel as the play caller is not that step. So you don't want Mike McDaniel as a play caller. You don't want Jalen Waddle as a receiver. You don't want Tua as a quarterback. Come on, bro. Shout out to friend of the podcast, Javon Holland, because Javon Holland said it um, on his IG live. He's like, yo, this is the worst fan base. Straight up, this is the worst fan base. So, yeah, man, I, I, I co-signed Javon Holland saying it's the worst fan base because you got this fan base talking about, oh, Jalen Waddle ain't doing enough. Although he's had a thousand yard season every time he, he's been uh, played with the Miami Dolphins. That's crazy to me. It's funny because like the Bengals, I believe, franchise tagged uh, T. Higgins. And people like put his stats over four years, Jalen Waddle over three years. It's, like, it's, just, it's just the same. Like Jalen Waddle, and, and he, you know, Jalen Waddle in three years has achieved what T. Higgins has done in four years. And Jalen Waddle's first year was probably one of the worst Dolphins teams in history and then the next two years he's got Tyree Kill doing Tyree Kill stuff and he still managed to put up you know the same or similar production to um to T Higgins like I just 
I'm, I'm, I would like to think that Jalen Waddle and other players will look at it and go, like, it's, it's the internet. People talk on the internet. I have no time for them. Um, and you know the, the real Dolphin fans, and these guys aren't real Dolphin fans. But you know what I mean. Like the ones that rock with him are the ones he will be paying attention to. Which reminds me, a shout out to DolphinsTalk.com, Jason Sarney and Stephen. Um, I was on Clock Blockers. I'm gonna mess up one day. Like, listen, I was listen, on... hold on, oh, can you, cause that's, 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 bro? Every time, cause I heard your episode, your solo episode. And every time you said it, bro, I'm like, <laughs> what is this? What is this show that Kadeem is talking about? Like, because it doesn't sound like you're saying what you're saying. I'm like, what is cock blockers? Blockers. You know what I'm saying? Is that like some European like cheaters show? Yeah, I'm on cock blockers. Like, what is that, bro? Right. So they don't bust in. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You don't know what a cock block is, like genuinely. Yeah. So no, no, no. I know what cock blocking is. But I didn't know there was a show for it. So I'm like, dang, Kadeem's going on a show for cop blocking? Like, you're a cop blocker? Like, what, what is going on here? So, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, it took it took like the third time for you to say it that you were going on DolphinsTalk.com. You feel me? Yeah. And, and, and yeah, like, so clock, it's the accent, clock. though. Yeah, it, it, and it is. Yeah. The accent. It's yeah, definitely that's why the accent. I like, I'm like, I'm trying to enunciate as much as possible. Clock blockers but there's yeah. no there's no as good as possible Kadeem. <laughs> every time you say it i'm sure someone thinks it like dang Kadeem a cop blocker that's crazy bro <laughs> listen go check it out had a great time i really want to get those guys on the podcast as much as possible or as soon as possible hey, hey, what, what, what was that what was that show your, your 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 girl was watching while you was recording it was like a uh uh real housewives or something yeah real Housewives of like the most random place and 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 to be fair it was it was voice of the podcast Jordan. like she watches the real housewives like for me bro, bro, bro. can you can you say the name of the city where it's where it's at oh i genuinely oh, what, what, what state, what state? It, it, it was in a state it was in a state i just want to hear you say the name of the state bro is it potomac no nah, yeah but what state bro what state oh i, I don't know what is it Google says it's in Maryland. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. What's wrong with Maryland? Like, <laughs> what is it? <laughs> this guy's doing hard. <laughs> what is it? Maryland? Like, <laughs> so look, bro, it. bro, when I heard, when I heard it, bro, when when you was recording, I'm like, this dude said Maryland. You know what I'm saying? It's Maryland. No. Maryland, you know what I'm saying? So, so remember when you got on me when I said Birmingham, and you're like, <laughs> Yeah, Birmingham is it's Birmingham, Birmingham, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the same no, no, thing, no, bro. No. You said Maryland, Maryland, fair play, fair play. I get that, I get that, I get that. Um, again, so I feel like there's so much stuff that we didn't discuss last week, um, but also just. I guess I don't think I, I touched upon it when I was by myself. Oh no, what well, we have we haven't had a chance to discuss it. The salary cap increase going to like to like two hundred and fifty five mil, and the Dolphins are currently, I think thirty eight under. No, so thirty eight over. Um, what, what when you saw the news that the salary cap is going to rise quite significantly, what 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 did you think, and what players are now much more attainable for the Dolphins to keep? Yeah, it didn't didn't change nothing for me. It's gonna happen every single year. Cap's gonna go up unless there's a worldwide pandemic. You know what I'm saying? So, nah. Um, I just thought, well, Tua could get his contract. We, we'll probably be able to circumvent, you know, what what's going on with our defensive ends. You know what I'm saying? So, nah. Maybe somehow, some way, you retain AVG, but. Nah, this this is this is what we the Dolphins have like the third worst cap space in the league right now. But this is what happens when you waste two years of your quarterback's uh, rookie contract on the Brian Flores era, and it's not the Brian Flores era E R A. It's the Brian Flores era E R R O R. You feel me? I like so that. I like that. You feel me? So that's what happens. Like you, you had a rookie quarterback with a defensive-minded head coach with five offensive coordinators in like two seasons, something like that. It's really like four and two seasons. But who's counting? 
right? So then you only have two more seasons with this quarterback contract, and then you wonder why your cap looks the way it does, looks like it does without the without the success. So now we didn't, it's not like we didn't think we were gonna be here. We just hope we would be here with the AFC championship or two and possibly a Super Bowl. So now, according to my uh, prediction, we're going to have to cash out everything this year and win the Super Bowl uh, in, in, in the 2024 season. So I don't love it, but you you wasted two years uh, of Tua on Brian Flores, and that's crazy. So that's the real issue. The cap is not the issue. I believe in, in, in Chris Greer. And I believe he'll find a way out of this, and I'm, I'm cool with that. Yeah, it's 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 gonna be very interesting over the next few weeks, especially like around the start of the new league here. Just seeing who the Dolphins retain, who the Dolphins pick up, and I think it will not tip their hand for the um for the draft, but I think that'll be like the first sign of okay, the Dolphins are going this way in terms of you know what they're kind of looking at and stuff. So. Gonna be interesting. Gonna since, be interesting. You, since you invoke the draft, Kadeem, let's let's tell our Patreon members some of the content that they're gonna be getting uh exclusively on Patreon. You're gonna be getting draft content that's not accessible to regular go time dolphins platforms. So we appreciate all of our patrons and what Mondays and I guess we ain't forgot the days yet. I guess we won't say either since we haven't figured them out. But <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we're going to give you extra draft content coming up in the draft and some other things in free agency uh, that's exclusively on Patron, on Patreon. Shout out to all the Patrons. Um, and I guess right now is a good time to say who, who's coming on the podcast, uh, uh, the, the, the new uh, friend of the podcast. Can I say it since you didn't even, you ain't even let me, like you said, oh, we got a new friend of the podcast. We're losing the old friend of the podcast, and then you just went into the show. I'm like, dang, bro, I can't say nothing about a new friend of the podcast. Listen, as you found last week, you miss a week and I take over. So, like, I need like either, either either put me in check or just watch me take off. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't really a takeover though. It, it was like one of those Buffalo takeovers of Florida, but they are really not even taking over. That's what that was like. But they end up winning the game, so. Who's the real winner? I'm I'm just saying, like, I might have taken over, but I've got the dub, so. Fair enough. But Miami Dolphins appear to be losing. Uh, a friend of the podcast of, of Go Time Dolphins. Shout out to Emmanuel Agba. Um, like, you know, anytime someone reaches out to the podcast or does anything for the podcast when they don't have to, it's like, man, we appreciate that. Like, because you don't have to. You're an you're awesome human for doing it, going out of your way. Shout out to Javon Holler all the time. I text him and say thank you shout out to friend of the podcast 40 acres and the hellcat still texting and, and still you know what i'm saying dude went on like went to the rams went to minnesota might have been on another team since he left the dolphin the dolphins and we still dude is still a solid humble dude so shout out to 40 acres and the hellcat as well but we got a new friend of the podcast and not only do we have a new friend of the podcast he's coming on to the uh, show this friday Geronimo Allison, former Green Bay Packer wide receiver. Shout out to Geronimo Allison coming on and chopping it up with us on Go Time Dolphins. That would be out Friday. Make sure all y'all hit it up. Check them out. It was fun. It was, it's like, man, this is, this is some good stuff right here. You feel me? So we talk about having a third receiver and who is the third option and Durham Smythe being the third, uh, leading receiver on the Miami Dolphins and you got Geronimo Allison out there and his name popped up uh on the radar in, in Dolphins media and we're like oh shout out to Chris for getting them on on the on the podcast so that it was a I ain't gonna like it then all right I don't wanna I don't wanna I want to spoil nothing no, I don't want to super hype it, but no, you, you know what I'm saying I ain't gonna spoil it or super hype but Geronimo Allison coming to the podcast Friday man yeah like it was a great episode um Make sure, like I said, you subscribe to the to the YouTube channel, um, Twitter, Instagram, all that kind of stuff. Like, go time dolphins, you know, is what it is. But yeah, I got a lot of stuff going on in my background, Kadeem. Uh, you want to get in a bonus time? Or what yeah, we of course. Bonus time, have to. Look, y'all know what time it is. 
stay positive, test negative. For Kadeem Simmons, I'm Charlie Touche. Thank you for tuning in this time. Make sure you catch us next time on Go Time. Already. Gotta make them lose their mind when it's your time. And it's your time. Going all out when it's go time. I ain't wasting no time. Gotta make them lose their mind when it's your time. Cause it's your time. Lay it on the line when it's go time. Don't waste no time. Gotta make them lose their mind when it's your time. And it's your time. Going all out when it's go time. So obviously Dolphins Dolphin staff talk and the uniforms comes up every single year. And I don't think it's Stephen Ross, it might be Tom Garfinkel. One of those guys basically said, You guys are not getting permanent throwbacks. It's just not happening. They said they like that they're special, they like that they come out, you know, once or sorry, a few times a season. How'd they make you feel, Charlie? I ain't gonna lie. If I had a girlfriend, bro, and she said, you're never gonna get this, like, whatever the this is, let your mind do whatever. We There's some stuff we gotta talk about. Like, hey, we need to meet. We hey, Yo, we need to compromise. It's compromise. So, Miami Dolphins, you're not giving us championships. We want our throwback uniforms permanent. You gotta give us something. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I don't have to have this. You know what I'm saying? If you were giving us championships, we would be okay with not having permanent throwback uniforms. If you were giving us success in the AFC championship game, we would be okay with not having permanent throwback uniforms. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to make it a dictatorship where it's like, no, I have to have this or else we're out of here. But now, yeah, y'all not compromising. So we have to have permanent throwback uniforms. That's all I'm saying. It's it's crazy. Listen, shout out to the East Rutherford paper planes. They were like, Yeah, throwbacks are coming back. Like you like as fans, we listen to you. You guys want them? Cool, you got it. I just don't understand. And we done an episode might be like two years ago about you know the dolphins color scheme and uniforms. People to this day watch it because the dolphins, in my opinion, have the best throwback uniforms. They just do. And the fact that we get them twice a season, if we're lucky, like, just, we, we've been through the reasons why we think it should happen. I'm wearing, if you're watching on YouTube, I'm wearing like a grey and aqua um, Dolphins uh, hoodie. Bringing bring in this colour scheme. The Dolphins are able to change their uniforms anytime they want now, because the last time happened like six years ago is what it is. I just, if, if it's not going to give us throwbacks, in my opinion, they have to make a, a somewhat significant change and just change the uniform. Just spruce it up. Let's let's, let's, let's be fresh. Listen, I ain't, ain't going to lie, Kadeem. Uh, I, get, I get hot when I talk about the throwbacks. And when I talk about Jalen Waddle, I was actually upset. And I had to catch myself. I'm like, yo, come back down. So I don't, I don't want to talk too much about the throwbacks or Jalen Waddle, but it's messed up how they're going to run our stars out of town. Real quick, I need to say this. For all the audio listeners that can't see me in the background, can't see what's in my background, my bad. I am in a studio, a music studio. And I told everybody this year, I'll be releasing new music. For those who don't know, um, Go time. the The song, our, our the song that opens the show for us, Go Time, is uh, uh is is my song. I did it, recorded it, and shot a video for it and stuff. We're gonna have a, a Go Time Dolphins. You know what I'm saying? Remix, Go Time Dolphins remix to Go Time, and um, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, we get some friend of the podcast in the video. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and Kadeem, Kadeem, Kadeem could come from from across the pond, and we be chop it up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but. I'm working on my new project, literally working on my new project and can't wait for everyone to hear it. Uh, it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time in the making and I'm just gonna get this on. got my tour hoodie on, you know what I'm saying? But look, man, I, I can't wait for y'all to hear what, what we cooking up in here in the, in the kitchen. 